we're going for a walk up to the village. 150 foot straight up. <laughs> The question we ask ourselves as we climb up this uh, man up walk this morning, why would you build anything up here? Not standing on much, are they? That's all that is resting on. <laughs> Be the biggest game of billiards ever, wouldn't it? What if I kick that rock? Yeah. Might <laughs> <laughs> happen one day. Yeah. Do you realise the camp is parked directly below this? I, oh my I could, God. I could just see the insurance uh, claim form. We're sitting in the camper and the rock fell on us. <laughs> but I mean, the earth does shake here. We get earthquakes. Yeah, if we do. If one of them shook a little bit too much, that would come down the hill. So tell me. How are you? We're up here, three thousand, three and a half thousand feet above sea level. And these rocks have just dropped here. Well, and the funny thing is, where the they... rocks are at the top, not at the bottom. Yeah, where have they dropped from? Is that one of them pile of stone things that people make? A cairn? Yeah. It's a giant's cairn. It's a giant's cairn, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, I'll just stick this one up here, look. If you manage to get this far up, you're not going to be in a fit state to fight anybody. And you don't want to make too much noise out of that thing, otherwise that thing's going to come crashing down on top of you, look. Such a shame with all this uh, raw beauty. Oh, you've got the beauty of the modern age. You'd think somebody... They could have done that a bit more sensitively. Well, they could have done, or they, you know, someone's got to come up with a better idea. We've got to have these aerials, but... You know, that is just... So hideous, it's untrue. <laughs> <laughs> I've done a lot of videoing, but I didn't dare speak because I was panted all the time. <laughs> yes, uh, rather a lot of having, having to get up. Yeah. But stunning views all around. 
biggest boulders. Giant. Giants must have put them here. Oh, yeah, I don't know how they got here. Where are we? 2,100 uh, 2, feet above sea level. So that's yeah. something like uh, <coughs> 750 metres above sea level. Highest point for a long way round here. Yeah. Um, one of the reasons we came was it's, it is a bit cooler. It's even well, cooler than where we were in the motorhome this morning. Yes, I'm feeling a bit sorry for Squeak who's still left at home. But... Yeah, yeah, after giving us a run around this morning. Anyway, she's had her own adventure this morning. Talking of wearing out, we're just going to wander back to the motorhome now. I'm worn out. Yeah. It's a long way up here. My only criticism with this is that... Um, a lot of it's had to be rebuilt. Yeah, it's all been reconstructed in the 20th century. So, you know, when, you, when we were coming up, it sort of looked so stark and new. And I said, that's not very old. Like, you know, it, and it, well, it's old rock, but... It's all been put back together. Yeah. Uh, in the, I mean, you know. they've tried to do it very sensitively, it has to be said, but it still looks just a tiny bit too new compared to those yeah. boulders, which have clearly been here for several hundreds of years. Millions. Millions. Of years. I would think, yeah, yeah. So, yeah. It's, but, yeah, it's fabulous views. Um, Lights come up here, here at night, there's lights yeah, everywhere. There, yeah, there's, there's lights mm. being put up and I think to see it all lit up would be really something. Something else, but yeah. That, that might be for another video. Yeah, yeah. The other thing that would be good is uh, if they would have a medieval festival up here like they do at Castamarin. Well, they have a festival which reenacts the sacking of this fort and it's on the 3rd of May. Yeah. It wouldn't have been this year, but maybe that's something we could come back, come for, back for in the future. Yeah. Right, we're going to wander down, do a bit more filming as we go. Well, this is this is the actual uh, path that we should have come up. We took the hiking path. Um, so there's two ways to get up to the castle. You can come up this path, which looks a lot easier than what we actually did, but not but as much we're fun. Much more intrepid explorers than that. Yeah. Obviously, they've had to. They've decided that this lot was just too dodgy, and they've had to uh, shore it up. Could have made a prettier job, it? Yeah, they could have put some boulders in front of it, couldn't they? Yeah, they could have faced it. It's so impressive. It's just mind-boggling to think that it's all just sitting there, and it's and then you. Held up by a little stone. Yeah, then you. You look in and you see this thumping, thumping great big boulders held up with a little bit of stone which has got a great crack running through it. Oh, amazing. <laughs> Just heading down into the top of the village now. And how about having your house next to that? And, oh, hang on, we'll just come out and put a bit more cement in there, shall we? It's a stunning village. And if you can't move the rock, build on top of it. Right, there you go. Little doer up for someone. Slight uh, TLC needed. Uh, all mod cons, it does have water, and uh, yeah, offers will be taken. <laughs> we thought Montserrat was pretty good, but this is well, just head and shoulders above, isn't it? Oh, yeah. Whoops. So it does fall down occasionally. Just incredible amount of churches and places of worship. Yeah, another church. Yes. Yeah. 
So, that was Monsanto Alley. What did you think of Monsanto? I think it's a fantastic giant's playground. I must admit, it was amazing to see the way the boulders were just balanced and sometimes they're just balanced on little tiny stones which, you know, great big cracks through them. Some of them don't look safe, do they? No, you did get the feeling that you just didn't want to... Just a little earthquake and the whole lot could come tumbling down. Yeah, you sort of didn't want to hang around underneath the boulders too long. Um, gave you an eerie feeling. Oh, it was a phenomenal place. It was, it was. Definitely worth going to see. Uh, the little village is, well, I mean, the way they've built the houses into the rocks um, yeah. is just. Of Portugal's beauty spot, it has to be said. Yeah, definitely. Not to be missed. Definitely worth a see. And you can walk to it from the little village um, a little bit lower, yeah, a little bit lower down than where we parked, and it's about a 20 minute hike. Well, we're going into Spain next, and then we'll head on up to, uh, well, it's the Rioja region, isn't it? Well, what a lunch stop we found. And we found this lovely little lunch stop here in the woods right by the river. And look at that for a view. You driving Squeak? Yeah, yeah. I think she's gonna <laughs> take a turn. <laughs> Down you go, go on, you have to go in your box. Okay, slight problem with the service in the motorhome. It's all switched off. So we managed to drop the grey water and the toilet waste, but we can't fill up with water. So we're hoping that the next stop has um, its services switched on. Uh, it's the times we're in, unfortunately, obviously all shut down for the coronavirus and uh, Council, it's on their last priority to get go out and get them turned back on again. What a shame. So is that the world's biggest ball? I don't know if that's the world's biggest ball. I don't even know why you can tell that. But I do know that we're not very much far away from Pamplona, so it might be something to do. Yeah, I think we are going somewhere up that hill. We arrived here late last night. Of course, uh, Spain, we suddenly realised, is an hour ahead of us because um, we're still on Portuguese time. I forgot about that. But uh, yeah, lovely little twisty, turny road up this mountainside. And um, we pulled into this spot, as you can see, we're all on our own. Uh, it's an area designated for motorhomes to park for up to 48 hours. And come with me and I'll show you the view. And you look down all over the um, wine grain region of Rioja and in the distance over there another castle. Looks quite interesting. Don't think we're going to get a chance to go and see it this time. Never mind. Um, it's chilly we went from 33 degrees to 16 degrees centigrade last night <clears throat> um, and it was a cold night, we <laughs> had to put the heating on and this morning we're going to go down into the town which is just over there 
um, error and uh, we're going to fill up with diesel and get some shopping and some bits and pieces and then head off towards San Sebastian on the uh, Spanish and French border. Not quite sure yet where we'll decide to stop for tonight. Uh, whether we'll stay in Spain or we go across the border into France. We said we'd go and do all our shopping, have a look on the various apps that we use to find the, the um, parking locations and then decide. So, let's go and get some shopping. A lovely spot we found here. Just, uh, just the other side of Biarritz, out in the country a little bit. We had a hell of a drive last night or late yesterday afternoon. We hit Biarritz right at rush hour. In the next episode, you can catch up with us as we take you to France. See you soon. Bye.